the bazaar of the nine allies from the outlook june twenty first nineteen sixteen by anonymous this is recorded to celebrate the ninth anniversary of librivox all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org the bazaar of the nine allies for many who could not afford a trip to europe a visit to the allied bazaar in new york city has proved a not unsatisfactory substitute indeed some tourists who do europe in the quick personally conducted way probably come away with less knowledge of the countries they have visited than they might gain from a careful study of the exhibits of the bazaar as a matter of fact a hurried inspection of these exhibits leaves you with much the same confused impressions that you might have after a quick globe-trotter's dash through europe and there is enough in the bazaar to deserve several days study the three broad floors of the great grand central palace where the bazaar has been held have glittered with the colours and echoed with the songs of the nine nations who are fighting the four in one corner one might hear a dark-eyed damsel humming a tune of languorous naples in another a metropolitan prima donna might be singing the marseillaise while in a third by closing the eyes and exercising the imagination one might hear the bells booming in the tower of ivan veliki and smell the damp softness of moscow snow the bazaar was organized for the relief of the war sufferers in the allied countries by the national allied relief committee the war relief clearing house for france and her allies and the commission for relief in belgium forty six hundred and thirty four concerns and individuals contributed to the bazaar in money merchandise or service the promoters of the bazaar who opened it on june third planned to close it on june fourteenth but the exhibition proved so popular that it was extended a week in the many booths were on sale most of the distinctive products of the allied nations from irish and servian laces to russian class the temperance drink that is largely taking the place of vodka the prices of all these articles were reasonable but with an average daily attendance of about fifty thousand the managers of the undertaking raised a sum for the wounded sick and poor of the allied nations far beyond their expectations the managing organizations were fortunate in having the particular recognition of the french government in the shape of a remarkable exhibit of war relics and war pictures sent over expressly for the bazaar there were the official moving pictures of the great battle of verdun captured german aeroplanes and cannon and a frequently repeated official demonstration of the famous soixante quinze the deadly field piece of the french army perhaps the single exhibit that drew most eyes however was the bent and blackened motor of an aeroplane all that is left of the flying machine in which the daring pegout idol of all france was tumbled from the sky france still worships his memory and every day at the bazaar fresh flowers were placed on this grim twisted souvenir of war end of the bazaar of the nine allies from the outlook june twenty first nineteen sixteen by anonymous read by anusha Ayer, mumbai